I'm watching kick coaches outdoors. Ladies and gentlemen, Kick Coach Chiefs Outdoors, Captain Mark here with, yes, that's him, the legend, Tony Marcia Sr. Tony Marcia Jr. Tony Marcia Sr. right now is going to go through a couple of tips and tricks. Again, we're going to be starting a series of 2019 Kick Coach Chiefs Outdoors tips and tricks. And we're coming to the ledger right now, right? If you guys troll striped bass in the Northeast and you don't know Tony Marcia, you might want to put a rubber band in your head and snap the hell out of it. Is Tony Marcia. Tony's going to tell you a couple things about, as a beginner, what exactly do you need to become an effective striped bass fisherman? Tom? Okay, first thing of all, you have to have the right rod. You don't have a bumper spoon rod, don't buy a bumper spoon. Right. I do sell the best bumper spoon rods out there. There are others that are comparable, but not as good. Not as good? I love this cocky guy. Yo, bro, he walks the walk. That's the first thing I tell everybody. Get yourself a bumper spoon rod. You can't use uh, a tuna rod for bumper spoon. It doesn't work. Because he said everything twice, like... I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. It doesn't work. On that note, tell us a little bit of the history of the Tony Mark Bumper Spoon Rod. Years ago, there was a company called Harnell. Okay, Harnell at the time was a... Was a uh, a surf rod that was 11 foot tall and you would have to cut some from the top some from the bottom and make a nine foot bumper spoon rod. and that's what we did i still have my two at home my two originals which i based my bumper spoon rods off of. and as, you, as you can see i still have the uh, same colors that years ago that that the, the originals were made of. And, and i was telling anthony's junior you can never leave these colors all right Old school retro. This is iconic in the industry, right? Right now, I think Anthony get in here. Come on, Anthony. We got a little. We got a little tree coming for the, maybe the blackfish season. Yep. All right. Definitely. We may have a little uh, tree coming for you guys in the blackfish season, and we may take a little uh, note of the wrap on these rods. All right. So, like Anthony's saying and Tony's saying, is that when you go out there to fight bear, you need a bear rifle. All right. This is the Tony Masha spoon for trolling bunker. And this is just basically, is this just basically a wire setup? You can use wire or braid. Or braid. Or braid, yeah. Okay. You don't want to use mono, you mono do not have a suit braid at all. Actually, has a floating braid. Okay. Use, I, I use, I'm, I'm a, a wire man for, for the bunker spoon. Mm -hmm. As am I. I do use braid from the Mojo's, but the wire goes for the bunker spoon. Okay, I, I'm 100% with that, and I have no business even saying this because look who I'm talking. I'm like, like Elvis Presley's right next uh -huh. to you right now. Ladies, relax. I know there's probably maybe 4% of my viewing audience is female, and they're probably hot and bothered right now, right? We got the legend right next to me. All right, hold on, watch this. His hands on fire, all right? That's because I know how to edit. This is the trolling rod. This is going to be for wire, and as Tony says, you could use braid on these rods, all right? So you're probably going to ask this question. What did the Marshas team up their stuff with? Anthony Jr.? Talk to me about this uh, right here. This is sexy because if you notice my last video when he called it Thresher. I said pressure, a lot of pressure on the rod. I didn't say Thresher. This is the setup he had. Now, I'm pretty impressed with it. It really is pretty cool. What exactly is this real? That's a Dakota 800. Dakota Line counter. Line counter with a level one. With a level you, one, yep. You're probably saying to yourself, would I ever use a level one for wire? I'm going to tell you, you're damn right you will because I did it and I was very impressed with the whole technique, all right? So that's going to be the setup here. We're going to move over right now. Tony, we have the rod, we have the reel. Right? We have Y. I know you guys prefer Monel in the uh, Maja yes, house. Yes. So you, you do a Monel. What do you do, 40 or 50 Monel? I, I do 40. Some people like 50. Uh, I've been using 40 all my life, but there is a call for 50. I sell 50 years ago. Okay. I use 50. So if you're going to go out there, Tony Masha Sr., the legend of trolling strike bands, he's going to use 40 pound Monel. He's going to use a Tony Masha 8 footer. It's actually it's three inches short of 8 Three inches, because thanks 90, to UPS and all the other crap, it's right. shipping. I'm going to open a can of whoop ass on the little one he is. But they're basically, they cut a little off the butt, but the axle on the tip is the same thing, right? Same axle, right? See, I know my homework. I've done my homework, all right? Well, that's what happens is you have an eight foot action, basically, and you're going to use the uh, 40 pound Manel. You can use that rod that uh, Anthony Jr. said, the real level one. It was sexy as heck. It really never fouled us. It was really very simple to use, by the way. Now we got that. We have a eight foot 
seven foot. I can't even do the math right now. So eight foot and minus three inches. You know the math. Do the work right now. Okay. Ninety three inches of love and sex appeal. All right. We're gonna use that. We're gonna put that reel on. We're gonna put forty pound manel on it. We're gonna do a top shelf block. Fifteen foot. Uh, I use either fifty or sixty pound. I say with sixty pound floor. Okay. So 60 pound floral, 15, 15, 15 feet, feet, right to that bunker spoon, right? And then we're gonna go for big fish, right? We're fishing spring fishery right now. That's what this video is gonna be about. We're gonna be fishing the spring fishery, and we're gonna be throwing what? Number four spoons out, right? Bunker. Yeah, usually the uh, adult bunker come in now, and we match the hatch. Okay. It's uh, usually the adult number four bunker spoon. Nice fish on the number four white Tony Maja spoon. All right, so that's it. So then we're gonna have the number four bunker spoon. That's the big boy, all right? This is what I always use. To be honest with you, I don't use anything but the number fours, but that's because I eat pools, all right? I use number fours, white, chartreuse, combos, all cherry vanilla stuff right there, all right? So that's what we're gonna be doing, spring fishery right now. We're gonna go number fours, big rods, big wire rods, and now I wanna just touch base real quickly. That's the new product right now that Tony Marcia Senior, Tony Marcia Jr. putting out there. This stuff is as sexy as it gets, really. All right, you guys are running the boats now. You're gonna say, hey, what am I gonna do? Here she is right now. All right, ladies, relax right now. I get that you're I'm very excited about this. This right now is the Tony Maja. It's the Mojo Rod, right? Mojo Rod to eat. The Mojo Rod to eat. Hey, the new Majas are in. Get me two Mojo Rods and get me two Bunker Spoon Rods. This baby right now is brand new. 2019 coming out at you. All right. It's basically like when Bon Jovi had his best hit. And I'm not a big fan of Bon Jovi. I'll punch him on his privates if I ever saw him. Because I don't think he's a talented guy. But when he puts stuff out there and people like it, that's basically like the Mojo Rod that Maja's putting out right now. That does it. This maniac is comparing a Mojo Maja are out to bond. Show me! You got the aluminum real seat gold. You know, why is it gold? I protect my retirement by buying yes. gold. Alright? Yeah, it's three laces. Don't watch this. But this is gold. You got a gold real seat. You got the gimbal. Gold. And then you have Tony Maja rap. Iconic rap right now. Alright? So basically, Tony, Anthony, same reel? That is a, a small rig. Use, this is a 700. You can also use a 600 with the line count. Right, so this and is, a level one. This is Shimano 700, 600. You'll see a lot of guys out here and girls are going to say, hey, I always use the 40 freaking pens. Rock it out. That's perfect reel, too. All right. This is because these guys have a lot of cash. They can afford these reels right now. But the pen 40 is a cash money. They're, they're perfect for this stuff. All right. So now that we have six foot six, six foot six, six foot six, we have a this is going to be a braid set, right? Tell me just a little bit about the braid, how this is going to work. The braid is great. Uh, you don't need wire for that. And the braid you have a lot more control with. Uh, it's easy to reel in and it, fl it flights the fish perfectly. And does not uh, ruin your, your uh, spool, the inside of the spool, where if you don't take care of the spools on the wire line, it'll run out of right now. Right. So what Tony's telling us, you have opposing metals here, no matter how you slice it, the manel or the wire is going to mess up your reel. It's just, it, that's the math, all right? These are the things that you guys go out there, you guys want to catch 50 pound fish. The only way you're going to do it, and I'm telling you, I'm just saying, you guys can argue with me and make comments below bad things about me. You want to catch 50 pound fish, you're going to go to a Tony Maja rod, number four spoon, and drag wire. That's how you do it, bottom line. In 2018, 2018, we're 50 there was, pounds. There was 18, we're finding out more, but 18 recorded. 18 Next people year. called in and, and knocked out fish over 50 pounds. That's not, that's not to mention the millions of fish that are in the 40 pound class, all right? All right, millions in the 40 pound class, I'm not, I'm not gonna say millions, plural, maybe a million. Obviously very exaggerated right there, all right? Tons of fish coming up in the 40 pound class, 30 pound class. And yes, can you go out to Montauk and catch 50 pound class at night on the right moon with eels? 100% you can. Can you go down to the Chesapeake and use the plane of boards and drift those eels down there and catch the big fish down there around Christmas time? Yes, of course you can. There's technique and skill to that. And this right now is just telling, I'm talking about new anglers with their kids or guys who just hooting it up out there that want to go and have an opportunity to legitimately catch a 50 pound fish, all right? And basically, where do you get the opportunity now to talk to the guy, legit, and I mean, I know I was a complete maniac in the beginning of this video with all this crazy crap, but really, when do you have the opportunity to go out there and talk to one of the iconic fishermen out there? Tony Masha Sr. has been fishing, I mean, I think these spoons are I believe I spoke to him, probably 45 to 50 years old, this technology that he designed. All right, he used to break down, all right, this is a little criminality, but the statute of limitations is over, all right? He'd take stop signs and press them, cut them, turn them into spoons, and that's the genesis of this whole thing. This guy, I mean, who would, 
<laughs> Who even thought about that? Yeah, have I had the forethought to make a jig out of a, uh, a fork for a bluefish? Yeah, hell yeah, I have, all right? That's no talent, all right? But Tony Marshall Sr., I just want to bring that uh, stuff to you guys right now that say, hey, this is what he does, all right? You don't necessarily have to listen to me, all right? I just want to get that out there to the audience. I mean, you know, when I see something, I have the opportunity to make a cool video and literally have somebody that's legitimate give you some information of what he does and what's basically in a nutshell let's go through it again all right tony masha senior if he's gonna go out there and he's gonna go target big bass in the spring right now and that's what we're talking about in the spring and this basically really applies to the fall too he's gonna go out there he's gonna run two big eight foots let's just call them eights right now thanks to ups and the other shipping industry that's what i'll touch on that right now they made him cut it down a hair so it stays on the eight foot for shipping or else you guys would be paying a hundred and something dollars for shipping which is ridiculous all right but so he's out there he's got the big bunker spoon rods on the outboards all right he's gonna be trolling 40 pound manel he's gonna tie that into a uh 15 foot top shot of 60 pound fluorocarbon snap swivel right to the bunker spoon all right I suggest you put on their stinger hook there. You'll see it in this, I think it's called the sidewash hook. All right, grab a sidewash hook and go out there, all right? The key here, and, and Tony uh, Jr. does all the sound with us. The key here is speed, you know, what, what speed, what speed. The key here is the action of the rod tip. The rod tip's gotta be boom, 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 boom. If it's just laying over or if it's going bananas, it's flipping, all right? Just it's gotta go boom, boom. It's gotta have a steady cadence. I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing a video with uh, Captain Josh over at the Gypsy Fleet. And uh, Captain Jess and Tony, my Anthony Jr., and myself out there, we're going to really go in depth about how, how that, that's done, all right? Of course, there are going to probably be some hijinks and shenanigans involved there, just like I did here. I mean, who lights up Tony Major Sr.'s hair on fire? What? All right? But if you don't, will you even watch this? Nope. That's my point. All right? That's the thing. I talk to Tony Major Sr. I go, bro, this is getting ugly here. He goes, don't worry about it. Just go freaking crazy with it. Whatever. You got to be the kid. If, you know, he can't change. All right? That's my point. On that note, I want to thank everybody over at the Jersey uh, show, the Edison show, the con there was strong as heck to Scalabra right there. I love it. Tons of ton comment, one anti-con, I don't even think it's anti-con, he was definitely a, a missing person right there. It didn't make any sense to me. But all the guys were fantastic. No girls. The girl viewing audience is zero. I think it's like a sliver, maybe 4%, all right? And obviously the 4% didn't show up to the Jersey show to say hello to you, all right? But... Everybody was awesome there. Jersey State Troopers there. How you doing? One of my comments was the Jersey State Trooper Big Bastard came up and said hello. Alright, so basically I was in Jersey. I flew out of there like uh, Magnum PI getting out of there, right? Because I, you know, I had to call up lunch with the Jersey State Police. I had to tell them like Alright, shout out to the Jersey State Police. God bless you all. Be careful out there, right? On that note, this has nothing to do with fishing, but who in the heck Designed their uniform, just like, uh, you know, let me go to this my DAI stuff, that's police stuff right here. Let me just go to a book, let me uh, see if I can find the most intimidating uniform out there to scare the beans out of every motorist. Yeah, let me uh, design the Jersey State Trooper uniform, all right? You get pulled over, those guys, you may have a cardiac, even when you're on the job, all right? Why even say that? I have no idea. God bless the police out there. Uh, that's obviously, all right? So, uh, that's it. Uh... Just quick shout out to my guys over at Squeal and Real. All right, those guys were over there talking to Tony Maja Sr. Let's just cut it to a quick little conversation they had right there. It works really well on the, uh, you know, the skirts that uh, people use down in North Carolina and blue water stuff. So that's kind of the next step. You all kinds like, hey, this, this is all we that's use. Right. This stuff works great, yeah. We, we've heard so many nostalgic things from people. Oh yeah. my God, I haven't seen that. I still got my jars from Uncle Josh. I can't even open anymore. Yeah. And they're telling us stories. I used to use it X amount of years ago. and. That's why it's good to bring it back. It's it's excellent. It doesn't harm the fish. That's right. And even the dye we use is like you know it's just literally like you know water based dye. Like we don't use anything CO. You know, it's just good for the environment. You where put you get, in the water. Where you get the fish bites and they don't die. Just right. a normal pork seller. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's literally culinary grade. I mean, it's kind of funny to say because no one really buys pork skin, but whatever you buy your pork from, it's the same you know product. We were, yeah, so we were high grade. We were That's right. Uh, also. You guys want to get a cool concept of uh, the Masha thing too? I want you to just take a quick uh, listen to the uh, Rutten River Pursuits. Uh, those guys are cool as hell. They did a uh, podcast with me. They did a podcast with Masha. They also did a podcast with Charlie Moore. So if you have a one day you want to hang out and have a little sarsaparilla or something like that, listen to. I mean, of course, listen to ours, but listen to the Charlie Moore one. It's, just, it's absolutely hysterical. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Kid Coach East Outdoors. Stay tuned for the next episode. Not sure what it's going to be. You know what it's going to be? I kind of trumped it yet. It's going to be another uh, how-to fluke, early season stuff. And then we'll be doing, uh, soon we'll be filming 
real fishing, all right? We're just doing these how-tos and these, you know, these tips and tricks stuff right now. Obviously, because there's no fish going on right now, all right? But April 15th's coming. She's coming close, all right? So make sure you guys go out there and grab your stuff, all right? Why Masha stuff? I'm going to just touch on that real quick. I know, I know you sound like, hey, this guy, Kiko, she's a psycho Masha guy. It's, let's just talk about a Volkswagen Bug and a Lamborghini, all right? Volkswagen Bug is 100 bucks. A Lamborghini is 120 bucks. Doesn't it make sense to throw an extra 20 bucks in to buy the right gizmo, all right? There are a bunch of fishing rods out there that are copying. They're not even copying his, uh, Tony Masha's rods, and, and, and you won't appreciate that rod until you really hold that rod in your hand and you say, what the hell is this thing? It's, it's, it's just, it just makes no sense. But the action of that rod, which Tony's designed, is, is, is so crucial to using the Masha Bunker Spoons. And that's what makes that marriage perfect, all right? So really keep it simple. Go out there, you get yourself a 4-0, uh, Senator, wrap that with 40 Manel, top it off with 15 pounds, 60 pound fluoro, go out there and rock them, all right? Get the two Masha Mojo rods, drop those things. I would put 50 pound test, maybe they put more. I never even asked Tony about that, but I fish on the Mojo's 50 pound braid. You can drop the Mojo's down straight off the back of the boat, two outboards with the, uh, out, you know, the Masha outboard rodders, and just run those bad boys. Four rods actively fishing striped bass in the spring. I don't care if you are the second day fishing, if you kind of listen to what we're saying here, you are going to catch fish. I guarantee you, all right? Guarantee, Jesus, that's a tough word to say. You're going to catch fish. I get a million emails from the con that they're catching fish with the stuff that I'm telling them, all right? I'm not here to BS anybody. If you think I'm BSing you, you call me on it, but I do not BS, all right? The stuff that I talk about, the stuff that I promote on this channel is only cherry vanilla stuff. The squealing real cats, all right? Why do I dig them? Because they're young guns. They're bringing back pork, all right? Pork left the market, all right? Uh, and these guys are just uh, high charges. I had a nice little talk with those guys that they, they, they're just cool cats. And damn, I think they live in Connecticut. I'm almost positive they live, live in Connecticut. But they're out there and they bring a product back, going retro. Right, it's it's going to rain it down right it now. Drawing. Con, we're going to call it the Con Man Put Special. Right there, baby. Pork runs are the shiitake right now, all right? So go out there and take a peek at Squealing Reels, all right? They're just cool cats. Support them if you can. And uh, that's it. I really talked a lot at the end of this thing, but but I hope I got the point across to you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the con over in Jersey, man. Holy crap, holy! I really dig those cats over in Jersey. Con oh yeah. By the way, I apologize for the Bon Jovi thing. All right. I really am not a big fan of Bon Jovi, but I know Jersey is. All right. We can't lose our love, Jersey. All right. But Bon Jovi, seriously, like Billy Joel, right? Billy Joel is. Ugh. I mean, when I was a cop, it'd be good for him if he was a cop and we were doing search ones, all right? The guy could watch the room by himself. <laughs> Is he a good singer? I don't know. The Alexis song, I dig the Alexis song for some reason. I heard it the other day, so I'm going to change my tune on this video here, but I'm talking way too much. I apologize again. You know where I got to go. Kiko Cheese Outdoors, what are you doing? How you doing? Where you going? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching Kid Coach East Outdoors. Consider subscribing below and like if you like. All right, to my Jersey comment, don't forget to take a peek at www.triplechallenge.org. That's the Triple Challenge. The Striped Bass Tournament starts on the 18th of May. All right, minimum payout, even if one boat's in it, is five grand cash. It was a lot of money last year. So take a peek at that. Uh, sponsored by uh, Hoffman Yacht Club, Fountain Boats, Proving Grounds Restaurant. Get over there. Join it, baby. You'll probably see the kid there. Kiss it, Daesh.